nest is all closed up, the little buddy sits on top of this shelf mm -hmm. and the propane either goes underneath it or I have it, it's way in the back in a, in a cabinet, depending on what size tank I'm using. And I also can put a little, uh, one of the propane stove there mm -hmm. on the little bottle. So this is, if I'm in, doing indoor cooking, this is where I do it. So when I first got the van, one of the things I was really excited about having was a full-size couch. After van dwelling for all those years, I just wanted a couch where I could be just come home and lay down. So in the first year that I had this, I had a couch. And I used these, um, the trifold, they're on Amazon. It's a trifold mattress. It's 75 inches long, 25 by 25, and they fold up into a cube. And I had two of them and they sat like this. Then I got tired of it, as we do. Right. I didn't have a place where I could actually sit and work. So I transformed the bed into what I call a split Murphy. And I have a booth. And this, I can sit this way and a guest can sit this way. And I just love it. I am so satisfied with this transformation of this bed. And wait, here we go, there it is. And, and with this awesome dresser that was given to me by a friend and I cut it up and made it fit in here. Underneath here is, we know what things go in boxes like that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know what that is. <laughs> in case you don't, I suspect it's a five-gallon bucket. It's a, it's a squatter five gallons, not oh, tall. Oh. I like the short one, yep. So see, all this stuff in here right. is PVC. And this shelf is PVC. It's suspended from the ceiling. Uh, and this is all PVC back here. So I have food. This is my cooler. It's on a strong wooden base though. This is what I would recommend if you're working with PVC, is that you put it on something that can handle the weight. You do what you can. You find little pillowcases <laughs> at the thrift store and you turn them into curtains. Right. right. And as we move this way, the, oh, and these pieces, this piece, these were all from the uh, upcycle stores where you go and you buy the old cabinets. So. Mm -hmm. I've got about 20, maybe $30 worth of furniture here. Right. Each one of those. I just go in when they're half price and buy and then attach. And this is all behind this curtain here is all my solar panel controls. Right. I have 305 watts on the ceiling, mm -hmm. two um, lithium batteries, about 100 amp hours each, 1500 watt, um, and I have plenty. That's plenty, yeah, that's a lot. Right, what I have is actually, I have, this is my 12 volt, volt cooler that I cover this because sometimes when the sun comes in, you need a lighter color. Mm -hmm. The other trick I have is underneath, behind here, is a second cooler. Oh, I see. And that's my right. freezer. I store a lot of my things in old pillowcase, um, you know, pillow covers. Uh -huh. This right here. This is, um, these are my sweaters and jackets in here. So this is just oh. standard old uh, PVC? Yes, you just cut yeah, it. it is. And it's even, you know, it's still, it's just the stuff you buy at Lowe's. There's stuff you can buy that's made for furniture and it doesn't have the advertising on it. This one says Charlotte, you know, I, I've turned it off so you can't see it, but yeah, I'm, I built this whole cabinet here over the cooler and this one for maybe $30. And it's, uh, it doesn't wriggle apart or anything while you drive? You know, occasionally it'll wriggle apart because I do go on some pretty hefty roads. And I have figured, what I did was they are attached using this fabric. So each shelf is actually a piece of fabric. Oh, wow. What a clever idea. It's yeah. So light. Yeah. And so when it comes apart, it still holds together. And I do have to say, not a lot of these fittings, you can't get them at Lowe's. You have to get them on either Amazon or go right to the company to get them there. If you look at some of them, this is a four-way. So that's like a $3 piece. Right. And how are you cutting them? Which the hand saw or? No, I have a PVC pipe cutter. Okay. And I've actually been through three of them though. Right. They aren't really that sturdy. I saw a lot of van builds that were using their bed and making their bed across this way. Right. But one of the reasons why I wanted to, wanted this van and why I wanted to move out of my uh, Toyota Sun Raider was because the Sun Raider wasn't stealth enough. And I was going into a lot of places back in New England, if you ever travel through there, it's really hard to have a 22 foot motor home, right. attracts a lot of attention. So I really wanted to be stealth. And one of the things that I really wanted though, 
was to be able to get in and out of this door easily because that adds to the stealth. That the sliders on these doors are heavy. You lose a lot of heat, cooling, the bugs get in. It's just not fast. So I designed this so that I can be anywhere in any big city, open the door, grab my handle <laughs> and get in. I really love my, my kitchen here so I can open both doors and look out. Right. And depending on the weather, you know, where, where I'm parked, I can do that on both sides because you may have noticed the table on the other side. And I have another table. And this is, again, all stuff from the ReStore. This right. table was probably a dollar. Um, back here, we've got all my toiletries so I can get up and brush my teeth in the morning. And I, these were old bike racks. So what I have up here, though, how I store my clothing, though, are in the plastic bags. Like if you bought a new quilt or some kind of bedding like that. So I have my pants in one bag, my fancy dresses in one, and shirts in the other. Oh, this cabinet is pretty fun. There's, I even have more space in here than I need. Right. Yep. Yep. And down below this is a box that was made for me at the van build, and that's where my propane tank is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And here's my Mr. Buddy heater that hangs on the wall, and I just pop it off and put it on the shelf. Right. And the bikes when and they're the bike. inside. And, yep. and you sacrificed the pass-through. Yes. The, thing, the sacrifice yes. you had to make. Yeah, so when I was purchasing this van, I did look at pass-through as an option and what, whether I wanted it or not. And what I found with the, the Ford Transit is that there's not really a lot of space to turn. So you get out of the driver's seat, you set your foot down, and you can't spin, or I can't spin my foot. And I so I sacrificed the pass-through because I said I don't want to be wrenching my hip or my you know, my um, knee to get through. So yeah, so I, I bypassed that and I just closed it off and I'm very satisfied with it because what I looked at as well was a lot of European design vans have this all set up here like this. Right. So this is where their kitchen is. Oftentimes that's where their stove is. Okay, and you're gonna show us the uh, bed. Yes, I'm gonna show you the bed. So what I do is I usually stack up all my pillows and things up on this surface here. Oh, and here. She's my precious. Oh, she's been with me for many years. My aunt made that little girl for me, so I keep it. So what I have here is, well, I highly recommend sheepskin for people because that's one of the most versatile things. Um, what I have is this extra cushion that I made so that I have a smaller day, uh, a smaller um, love seat. So that isn't really part of the bed. The table breaks down easily. Sometimes. <laughs> there we go. And it just stows under here. It's not part of the structure at all. There's nothing. This can sit right here. I release this hook here. Pull up these legs. And that's that piece. Then this one falls down, no legs. Here's one half of the mattress. Here's all my bedding that was stored behind here. Oh, <laughs> I do have some cross country skis in here too, in case it snows. <laughs> of course. Yes. They, Everyone does. So I was, I was so happy to find a place to store the skis. So that's basically these two fold into one. Someone had said to me, oh, I wouldn't want to make my bed up every day. But I feel it's worth it. I get a lot more out of this space. I'm really satisfied with it. Uh, split Murphy bed. Right. Can't beat it. No. So like I was saying, I showed you, you know, anybody can cook with propane as long as you're well vented. I have that. I have that option. I have my tea kettle, which produces hot water for all my needs. But <clears throat> I have one, two of these, and I have been really learning how to cook in these. I love those. I'm a huge fan. Uh, so what I do is I buy Pyrex uh -huh. that fits. You have to take the oven in with you when you go to the thrift store right. and get the right size Pyrex or right the um, silicone baking pans. Mm -hmm. 
So these are ball jars mm -hmm. that are the squat ones. Two of these can fit right into the oven. Oh, nice. Yep. Then what I bought was the uh, stainless steel lid with a silicone gasket. Yeah, these are fantastic. Yeah. I love them. I actually have two of them. I use them very, they do eat quite a bit of solar though. They do. Yeah, so I really try and get them going in the morning so I have plenty of solar. You know, couldn't put it in at night. That's not the right time to do it, but it's, uh, yeah, so this with a little bit of uh, champagne would be a lovely brunch. That sure would, yeah. <laughs> and how about uh, staying clean? Oh, staying clean. Well, staying clean. My first response to that often is showers are overrated. So I just say I like splish, splash, sploosh whenever you want to. Right. And, it, and especially in the sun, take it outside. I use, um, I have quite a few buckets. Uh, I store them in my garage. I use them to wash my hair. Uh, and then when you get to go to that shower and get that shower, it's a real treat. Well, Babs, thank you so much for sharing your life and your home with us. It's really a creative, ingenious home. Yay. Just, uh, very creative. Mm, thank you, Bob. Yeah, it's really been fun showing it to the, you and the world. Good. Yeah. A lot of people are going to be very helped, and that's what counts. Oh, yay. Yeah, I, I'm, I hope so. Okay, folks, I know you've been uh, inspired and uh, found lots of great ideas here. And if so, then take them and run. Go make your own life. Make all this work for you. And if you liked anything in this video, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.